Now how about this here? When it opened up first class, it we don't see all of our methods. They've, they've uh, been folded is what the terminology is. We see this little plus here. It means that we can expand it or unfold it. So we can see the rest of this method here. We'll see in a moment how to change that. Now let's imagine that we've just been given some code and it's pretty poorly formatted. We have a big file full of things that we don't like the formatting on. Well, we could go through and format that ourselves, or we could let Eclipse do it for us. If we go over to Source and choose Format Document, or just click Control Shift F, it will format the document for us. Quite nice. You may also often run into a situation where uh, you don't remember the exact uh, set of parameters or order of uh, parameters to a PHP function. Down here in the uh, PHP functions tab, you'll see a list of uh, every available PHP function. Uh, and it's kind of hard to uh, see through everything there. It's quite a list, but you can just start typing. Say you want to know the, the methods, uh, the, the, the uh, order of the parameters in, in array. If I just start typing in underscore array, there we go. Um, we see it right there. Uh, what if I wanted to quickly go over to the manual there? Just right click, click open manual. One thing you can do here, and this would be especially useful on this very small resolution, uh, very low resolution screen, is that you can take any one of these sections here where there are tabs, and if you double click on the section or the tab, it will expand that tab to be the full screen. Then you can just, to go in reverse, just double click again and we'll undo it. Okay, let's be done with the manual here and get a little bit more room. Let's take a look at uh, another uh, nice feature here of Eclipse. A lot of times you're running through a file and there's something you want to uh, remember to go back to, something you haven't completed. Maybe you type a to do. Uh, complete this constructor. I'm going to go ahead and save that, and we see that. It's at a little mark over here, also one over here. And also, it's listed down here under the tasks. The tasks will generally be updated to contain all of the to-dos that you have throughout your entire project, so you can keep track of them. And with the description, it will list whatever is the, on the rest of the line with the to-do that you wrote. There's also uh, another tag besides to do you might want to use. A little bit stronger, it's fix me. If I save that, you'll see that it gets an exclamation point down here. But it, again, it has the same notation for, for marks over here. When you have a larger file and you have a lot of these blue marks over here and other colored marks, you can click on them. It'll take you directly to that line in the file. Quite useful. And how about if we've been typing poor PHP here and we have some errors. Say I'm uh, outside of an area where I should be uh, typing much here. Let's see. Well, let's, let's just go with that for now. We see that it's underlined for us that we have some syntax errors. Now if we actually save the file, it will go through and add that to a, the problems tab here. Here we can quickly go between various areas where there's problems. We also see that it's marked our file over here with a red X indicating that it has a problem. Okay, now back to code folding. We notice that when we first open this first class file that this method here was folded. It wasn't showing us anything but the first line. Some people may not like that functionality and want to disable it altogether, or at least make it so that no methods or classes are folded by default. How to do that? We go up to the Window tab up here and select Preferences. And then we'll see in here we have a PHP option. We're going to go in there, go to Editor, Expand Editor, and then there's a 
folding section. And we're going to leave folding enabled in this case, but we're going to say don't initially fold these elements. Then click OK. Now if we open up firstclass.php again, we'll see that it's not folded, but we can fold it manually if we so choose. Another nice feature here in Eclipse is that it takes care of uh, helping us out with our PHP doc comments. So for example, if I type my forward slash there and then two asterisks, and then I hit enter, it will go ahead and start finishing the uh, PHP doc comment there. In other cases, this is more useful. It will try to add in any of the PHP doc parameters that we would want. For example, here it saw that there's one parameter bar. It doesn't know the type, so it leaves us to fill it in. Maybe it's a string, and we could enter our um, description there and a description of the string there. And let's go ahead and get rid of that and format. Another feature of Eclipse is that it has this thing called templates that are very that are available for various programming languages you're using, and they're available with PHP. There, uh, there's various templates already defined uh, with the PDT, the PHP Development Tools plugin that's integrated with this download of Eclipse that we got. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to take care of writing some common code that we need very quickly, at least once we get the hang of it. The way the templates work is that there are certain tags defined that can expand to blocks of code that we don't want to bother writing ourselves. So let's give an example here. Say that I forgot how to iterate over a directory, or I do it a lot um, and I don't want to uh, have to type all that code myself or copy and paste from somewhere else. In this case, I, I've been using the templates and I know that if I just type IT and then type control, hold down control, and hit the space bar, it will offer up the templates. We see that the templates in this case are the two at the top. This icon here means it's a template. So I'm going to choose the one I want. In this case I don't want to iterate over an array, I want to iterate over a directory and we see down here this is the code that the template would expand to. So all I have to do is hit enter there and it expands to all of that code we need. Let's try that again without my clicking around with the mouse just to show how quick that can be. Type our IT, control space, enter, and there we go. To see the list of templates or to add your own, we can go up to preferences again. Under PHP, there's a template section. And here is a list of all the different templates we have available. We can go ahead and add new ones if we choose or edit the existing ones. Now we've seen the very basics of using the Eclipse platform for PHP development. There's so much more that's available, including integration with CVS and Subversion, debugging, and a lot more fun. We're going to stop here though. This at least gives you what you need to know to just get going right out of the box. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. You can find more such tutorials on PHP and Eclipse over at phpdeveloperblog.com.